Amnibar, a city founded by a Muslim king, later becoming the home of Gandhi as he broke barriers between the Hindus and the Muslims. There's a warmth in the eyes of the people here that you won't find anywhere else. You would have no idea what was brewing beneath it all. In 1947, India got its freedom from the British rule. The country was divided into two. The predominantly Muslim-dominated states became Pakistan, whereas the Hindu-majority states remained India. Thousands of Hindu families were forced to leave Pakistan to avoid persecution. Some Muslims left India, but there were many who chose to stay in the great secular democracy of India. Farzan, give me your radio. Bloody Muslims! They live in India and cheer for Pakistan. They want to see fireworks. We'll show them fireworks. Antabar. Bairampura, Chamanpura, Chuapura. In Parzania, you could listen to cricket whenever you want and not get into trouble. Really, is Parzania beautiful? Of course, the buildings are made of chocolate, the rooftops are made of halwa, the rivers are made of kheer, the mountains are made of ice cream. Chocolate ice cream! Chocolate, strawberry, tutti frutti, any flavor you like. And you can eat it? Of course. One minute, one minute. Yes, Dr. Jairaman, good morning. He just called. He will be here any minute. The American? Yeah. Alan is his name. Well read. Intelligent for an American. <laughs> I think he's finishing his uh, thesis on Gandhi. Very good. That's Alan. Yeah. <laughs> if you make a wish at Lake Arzinia, will your wish come true? Of course, one hundred percent. But you have to pray like me. Rumble, mumble, do not tumble. God, this is your servant, humble. Pray, come on. Rumble, mumble, do not tumble. God, this is your servant, humble. Acha mani, bacha mani, andheri, gandheri. Dilshad dear is very hungry. Close your eyes. Open them. That's Farzan, <laughs> myself with the cat, and Dilshad, my daughter, and my wife Shainaz. Ah, beautiful. What about you? Are you married? Fuck no. I just broke up with someone actually. Fucking psycho. Dude, never date a hippie. <laughs> Please, you can't drink in here, Alan. <laughs> no, anywhere else in Gandhi State, for that matter. Yes, yes, I know. Please, Alan. I love that about Gujarat. Lots of poverty, no booze. Who's this, Allah? No, oh, that's Zarathustra. I'm a Parsi, not a Muslim. What's a Parsi? We are like. The Jews of India. Oh, so you own the theater then? No, no. 
That was a joke. Oh. What about you? Are you Jewish? Christian. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. <laughs> bah. <laughs> 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 Hi, Bitty. You're just in time. Bitty, please go to Sheila, Auntie, and tell her Mama wants lemon and get it. Please, baby. Okay. You should have seen the look on the face when they saw me. Really? Oh, what oh, happened? No, these guys had to get over today only. Ah, the bright chagan. No, I tried. No, now we are out for two days. More like two weeks. The shortage has never been so bad. I wonder why, really. How are we talking, Jay? <laughs> My mommy wants to borrow a lemon. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I told her she would need more than that, but she never listens to me. Nobody ever listens to me, not even my husband. Hmm, acha? I've never heard that before. <laughs> it's your only job. This? No, no, no. I work in a cinema. I have to earn some bread also, you know. <laughs> What about you? How's India been treating you? People have been way too nice. <laughs> Just because you're white. <laughs> You must be thinking you had lots of money. Uh, sure, so there doesn't seem to be a lot of that floating around here. No, there is. It's just that a few people have most of it. That's all. Same shit in the states. At least you don't have people killing each other for no reason. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, oh shit! We got three times the homicide rate as India, man. It's a hell of a lot easier getting your ass shot off in L.A. than Bombay. Must be those horrible movies that you keep seeing. Now you put all these pebbles in a straight line, and I'll show you how to enter Pennsylvania. Okay. Hmm. Lovely, lovely. Mm. She does run out of gas again. Oh, she's going to be in trouble now. There's a gas strike going on. Yeah, and she wants you to make six rotis for her. <laughs> That's so Sheila like. You ask for one line, you make six rotis. If I ask for rice, she's going to ask me to paint her house. <laughs> I tell you, you remember that day? I asked for something. Sharaz. <laughs> This is how you enter Pennsylvania. I promise to abide by the laws of Pennsylvania. I promise to abide by the laws of Pennsylvania. To put cricket before anything else, including pudding and pebbles. You must obey. To put cricket before anything else, including pebbles, pudding, and pebbles. Pudding and pebbles. Now keep repeating after me. I enter this land. I enter this land with the knowledge that I may eat the buildings. With the knowledge that I may eat the buildings. But not within five minutes before it is supposed to rain. But not within five minutes before it is supposed to rain. Now hold this like a parachute. What will you want me now? Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Now jump! <laughs> We are now entering Pennsylvania. Yay! Come on, 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 Rocky for you. Is that a Rocky or a watch? It is a Rocky, and you have to wear it on Rocky Day. Only Hindus wear Rockies. I don't care. You have to wear it and also protect me for the rest of my life. I know what the Rocky is, okay? So don't bore me. Now you see what I'll do to you. You also have to give me a present. Sure. First of all, I have to wear that stupid Rocky, protect you, and then give you a present. Bullshit. Mommy. Okay, okay. I'll wear the Rocky. Mommy, Pajan is listening. Mommy, teacher took his radio and gave him. Sure, sure. Hello, beautiful girl. See, Daddy, Rocky for present. Oh, that's lovely. You mean? 
Yes. Hmm? And he's going to wear it and also give me a present hmm? and also protect me for the rest of my life. That's my tiger. Oh, ah. Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, today. <laughs> oh, one for you. This one. Two. Yes. We got two. Yahoo. Yahoo. Hmm. Go ahead and spoil them. Give them more chocolates. Hmm? Why? What happened? What happened? Do you know what your tiger did today? What? Stole the Taj Mahal? Ah, Cyrus. Huh? He was listening to the cricket commentary in the class. Hmm. Maybe we should make him a cricketer. Ah. Farzan Cyrus Pitawala, captain of the Indian cricket team. This is what happens. I can never make him study because you're all the time making a joke out of everything. Hmm. <laughs> Must you renew our wedding vows every single day, sir? Every single day, thrice a day. Mm. Mm. Before breakfast, mm. after breakfast, for lunch. Then, sir. Thanks. For lunch, after lunch, before tea, and after tea. <laughs> बेवकूफ तुम लोगों की वजह से अब मुसलमानों का नाम खराब हो रहा है भाई साहब कितने बेहूदे लड़के चलो चलो चाय पियो जल्दी छोटू भैंड आवाज मत कर सोने दे चल Ten o'clock. You're getting late. Get up. Come. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. What? Nothing has happened. Oh. 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 Nothing. I nothing. can't even sleep. Let me see. I can't. Of course even... you can oh. sleep. Oh. 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 Come. It's getting late. You have to go to work. Come, please. I don't work. I don't have to go to work. Cyrus, you have to go to work. Oh. Oh. You have to go to work. Oh, ever. Again, I don't have to go to work ever. Aadi, you have to. No, I don't. Cyrus, you have to stay in bed with me from this moment on. Aadi, I'm getting late, man. Hmm. Your policeman friend is calling. Oh. Come. Let him wait. Are you coming or I should take a rickshaw? Hmm? Are you letting me wait now? Two minutes is coming. Okay. What are you? Are you hurry, huh? All he wants is a free lift. <laughs> come on, come on. Sharnaz, yeah. Did Khan uncle tell you the news? What news? Nazneen is getting married. Oh, your niece? Yes, a nice Hindu boy. They met on the computer, you know. <laughs> Tell you, internet has made the whole world such a smaller place. Gone are the days of Satish and Burka. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, Asif, when are you going to find a lovely little wife for yourself? Hey, I keep asking you, no? <laughs> <laughs> Abu, I think we should get a computer. Huh? You need a lady friend. <laughs> At this age, I don't need anything. Yes, you do. You remember this bed sheet? You liked it very much. I'm going to give you one on your birthday. Oh, so you remember that? Yes, I did. So sweet of her. Look, Chotu, I'm going to dress you. Come, come, see. Look, look. Oh, boy. Hey. What's wrong, Parzan? Parzan, be careful, son. Sorry, uncle.
Dr. Jayarma. Where did you get this? It's amazing. <laughs> this is my most prized possession. You know, one whole year I did not go to see cinema or eat out just to save for this. <laughs> Whenever life seems to be too much to bear, yeah. I read this book. This brings me back to life. If you are going to break the law, it should not be for selfish reasons. Everyone here seems to. Helen, you are here to study Gandhi, not India. You need purity, not reactions made of anger. A healthy dose of anger is good from time to time. Sometimes you have to throw a punch to block one. An eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. Rahim Bakery, Karani Cafe, Almur Dwellers, Abbas Garments, Iqbal Automobiles. Today, I'm going to go to the store. Switch on the machine. Switch on the machine. Look. 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 Allah has given a group discount. Come on. Use your strength. Come on. There. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You need to build up some muscle. You won't have any muscle. You couldn't even turn that thing. So can I be a projectionist now? You can be whatever you want, provided, provided you pay attention and learn along the way. Mm. Know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Can't wait to see all the amazing things you're doing. साला ब्लैक तू करता है पूछता मेरे को पहले हफ्ते में पांच हजार बनेगा गारंटी तू सुधर जा चगर अभी भी टाइम है क्या रे बेंचुक गांधी वादी लोगों के साथ रह के तू भी एकदम गांधी बन गया है और कुछ अरे ब्रांड चल देगा चल हट गेल चोरिया तू जब गेल चोरिया बोलता है ना तो बड़ा अच्छा लगता है चल चल जाए यहाँ से तेरे लिए 50 परसेंट ऑफ वो वैसे ही 50 परसेंट ऑफ दिखती है अच्छा सुन अंग्रेज के पास भेजू नहीं नहीं कोई जरूरत नहीं जाए यहाँ से अरे बाबूजी तेरे लिए फ्री और गेट लॉस्ट गेम it was not titanic okay of course it was it wasn't ah. hmm. and they came to gujarat in india when they came the king of gujarat was very concerned why was he concerned he was concerned because there was no place for anybody else to come and live there hmm. so he went to the priest and he took a bowl of milk and he filled it up to the brim and said like this bowl of milk we have no room so you know what our priest did what mm he took a spoonful of sugar he mixed it in the milk and said like the sugar that blends in the milk we parsis will blend with the indians so we will only sweeten your culture and since then the parsis and the indians have lived in peace and harmony okay come, come let's go to sleep come. Oh, one more story no one story one more and please, no no please.
say that you are studying Gandhi? Hmm? But why are you really here? Okay. Well, uh, that's a good question. I was raised Protestant, actually. My woo, father was a very well-respected pastor. <laughs> Never guessed that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, genius level, you know. He, he could save the soul of anybody who walked through the door, but... Uh, Yeah, he, he uh, had a hell of a temper. He beat the shit out of us, man. So when I was 13, I was like, fuck this. I, I don't have to live this way. And I pack my bags, and I'm leaving the house. He's chasing after me. We head down the front steps. And he falls and hits his fucking head hard. So we take him to the hospital, and they do a CAT scan just to be safe and find out that he has a brain tumor. They yank the thing out, and guess what happens? All of the anger goes away. No more violence. Just like that. So you think it was the brain tumor that caused it? Well, I mean, that's what I thought at the time. Uh, so I'm like, who do I blame for my life of shit now? I can't blame him. Uh, do I blame God? I mean, this guy was was God's biggest advocate, and he gets a fucking brain tumor that causes him to bash his family. So I'm like, fuck God. I go agnostic. I start drinking my ass off, screwing just about uh, anything with a pulse. Whew. But, uh, you know, a few years of that, I was fucking miserable. And, uh, I don't know, man. You know, nothing, nothing felt uh, trustworthy. I trusted my, my coke dealer more than I trusted the chicks that sucked my dick, you know? And then my brother comes to me, and he tells me that uh, the tumor had only been there for like two, three years tops before they removed it. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, quite honestly, I think that it was the anger that created the tumor, not the other way around. You know, so, I, uh, I stopped being a slut, sort of. I cut back on the sauce and uh, went back to college, which is where I discovered Gandhi. And then I went back to church, which is where I discovered the same judgmental, hypocritical types I grew up with. And I figured that, you know, there's got to be a better way to live life than this. And that's when I decided to do my final thesis on Gandhi. Which brings me here. Mm -hmm. Get this. My thesis was due three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, here I am still drinking shitty bootleg liquor and uh, studying Gandhi. Fuck, man. <sighs> uh, I guess. Come on. Cheers. Yeah, go easy on that stuff. You're going to catch yourself in early grave. <coughs> we bosses don't have graves. <coughs> we bosses don't have graves. Oh, how you drink this stuff? <laughs> you know, when, when Parsis die, there's a fire ceremony. And then the body is put on top of a tower for the vultures to eat. Come on, you're fucking kidding me. No, really. The body must be useful to someone or something, even after death. Life must return to the earth when it's over. <clears throat> the soul goes on, but the body stays behind to feed the earth. Fucking Parsis go all out, don't you? <laughs> look like donkeys. So class never gets boring because you're watching a talking donkey. <laughs> yes, no, teachers look like donkeys. Yes, there is. But then, yeah. Shut up. 
Conducting a census here. This hour. What religion are you? What caste? Satanic cannibalism. We eat census workers primarily. Can't you see this fucker is not a Hindu? Any Hindu is living in here? You no, know, you want to move in? Fucking asshole. Missed. You want a thesis? I'll give you a fucking thesis. I'll give you a thesis about Gandhi, a man who was able to unite the Hindus and Muslims for the cause of freedom and equality until some shit for brains right wing Hindu thought the world would be a better place if he put a bullet through the man's stomach. Then a few idiot Muslims set off some bombs in Bombay in the early 90s, and a new party plays it for all it's worth to get into power. And this party features many of the same types of superstar players as the pricks that wanted Gandhi did. But now they were able to use a private group called the Parishad, which is India's own version of the KKK, to convince the Hindu population that they'd been repressed by the Muslims all along, even though Muslims make up less than 14% of the population, and most of them are poor as shit anyway. The Parishad, just like some of those idiot Southern Baptists with their burning crosses, love to pretend that theology supports their political agendas as if it's God's will to be an asshole. We don't need to take care of the people; we need to control them. And if using God to make them hate each other works, then so be it. Daddy, why are we Parsis and not Choto? <laughs> Because we were born Parsi, and Chotu is born Hindu. But you said there was only one God. Yes, there is only one God. Then how do you know that ours is real and his isn't? All gods are real. Hmm? Come, on, come, on, get some rest, Tiger. Uh, Daddy, I'll never listen to radio in class. Bedtime in Parzania? 
you guess correctly allahu akbar allahu akbar a large group of muslim terrorists attacked the train yesterday it appears a fire bomb is responsible for killing 58 passengers as it left the station headed for andaman the passengers were mainly turn the volume up on that the radio volume up flash started when some people molested an 18 year old muslim girl the government dismisses this as bogus and states that the isi pakistan's intelligence force was behind this unfortunate carnage 28 people have been arrested they are all muslim this is unbecoming of any civilized society it is something which can never be pardoned i want to assure the people that gujarat will not tolerate any such incident the culprits will get full punishment for their sins not only this we will set an example that nobody not even in his dreams thinks of committing a heinous crime like this the gujarati government shall safeguard the lives of common people and shall not allow those who want to take the law into their own hands to destroy the peace of innocent citizens this is the सोसाइटी I appeal to you with folded hands we must maintain peace and self restraint it is our resolve to punish the culprits no one will be spared gai kale thena trena durghatna virodh ma bazaar aajna padna elan kai rakhe hai aajna nidai karu se ke aaj bazaar breakfast getting cold in of the news we don't have कभी कम 
the gates. Come on, you you go over there and, and close the gate. Hurry up, baby. Come on, you, you go over there. Usman and Rahim, go and check over there. What happened, Asif? Shunas, Shunas, go back home. Go back home. You go that side. Go that side. Go that side. Go and check over there. ट Come on, 
My house is just over there. My family is there. My wife is alone. My my little daughter and my son are over there. Please let me go from here. See this road is blocked. You can't go from here. Inspector, please let me go. I need only to go. Go, go, go. You see this road is. You can't go from here. Go. Shila Ben, please open the door. I want you to take the children inside, Shila Ben. Shila, what are you doing? Banu, 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 Jana, open Banu, not to understand. Shila Ben, please. is not in danger they are attacking buildings on the other side now you remain cool and everything will be okay but if i'm not in danger why don't you let me through
Okay, now, Dilshan, I want you to be very quiet. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. I want, wait, wait, I want you to be very quiet and I want you to be very brief. Because Mama is going to go, get Parsan and come back. Please, Mama, come back. Please, Devin, Mama, I'm going to get. Don't be. Mama, please, 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 Mama, please,
estimated that over 1000 people have died in the Ahmedabad riots and over 100000 people homeless as their houses were burnt or destroyed the government claims that the police and fire were never चटनी तो दे जाए यार ले सुंदर चवाली चटनी चटनी सर 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 एक चटनी पूरे मुंह का स्वाद बिगड़ गया अभी ये दस दिन पुरानी चटनी लेके आया इससे अच्छा तो मैं सूखा खा लेता चल निकल यहां से आप आओ चला चला सर प्लीज प्लीज मेरी बात सुन सर सर सन कौन नई बात है तो होता रहता है और नाम क्या उसका प्रजा दिखता कैसा पापा इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड टॉल 
Mummy is soft and helps when I fall. Sissy is silly and sweet. Oh. And Papa has smelly feet. Oh. <laughs> Whose tiger are you, Papa's or Mummy's? Uh, Mummy's. Oh, okay. I won't take you with me to the picture tonight. Okay, okay, Papa. <laughs> okay, okay, Papa. <laughs> Just joking. Tomorrow. You can come tomorrow. Jitta kaise hai? Jitta kaise hai? करता हूं करता हूं
Yasif. I haven't seen him. I know he's alive. Might be here somewhere, I'm not sure. Suleiman and Imtiaz. I heard you needed some new books. These books are expression of my heart. You know, when someone hits you, it's human nature. You go on hitting yourself even harder. But that's not your way. Your way is this way. This is your path. They want us to go to Pakistan. Why should we? This is our home. As much as theirs, no? You know, I watch my own father, who is my best friend and the most peaceful man I have ever known. But our loved ones are not all that we have lost. Actually, we've lost everything. Our dignity, our pride, the feeling that we are safe in our own country. And now they say, we don't belong here. They claim India is theirs. We are suddenly outsiders. We are suddenly Outsiders. We are made to feel ashamed about worshipping Allah. So what are we left to do? If we look away just to keep the peace, then it's like saying to God, we would rather turn our backs on you. It is Allah's will for us to be victorious over the non-believers. And those who have committed these crimes, our God is strong and powerful and has given us the strength to stand up to any evil. Whatever sacrifice we need to make, we must make it. We will make it. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah in the year 1919, the British government gunned down hundreds of men, women and children in Jallianwala Park. Gandhi took the gold coins given to him by the British for his work in South Africa and returned them with a letter. Do you know what the letter said? It said, I can retain neither respect nor affection for the government which has been moving from wrong to wrong in order to defend its immorality. The return of the coin was as large an action of disrespect as one could do. Gandhi saw terror all around him. 
But that did not make him become a terrorist, nor did it make him go into isolation or self-destruction, which would have been natural impulse. It inspired him to take his war path of non-violence even further, focusing on those who really needed his help. Good news. You are lucky. Uh, please sit down. We'll look for your son. Entire police force will look for your son. Mm. Sign it. What is this? Just a simple affidavit that we are helping you. Basically, to summarize it, Riot overtook the building and Hamare party worker uh, took control of the situation to rescue from the writers. Or main baat to ye, dekho yaan. It also says that you are giving us permission to look for your missing son. Tumhe bachcha chahiye na? Mil jayega bachcha. Sign kar do. Remodeling done to it, but I'm um, getting it back to, to normal. Please come in. The bedroom straight down the hall, at the very end, and uh, kitchen is just to the left. Uh, just the living room. Yeah. Uh, I'll get you set up in the in the bedroom. Okay. It's, it's all right. Please, please. Nini, 
लेवल को लेवल लेवल कहीं एक मिनट बा एक एक So I have a mission for you. I want you to take this and throw it into the garbage in the kitchen, never to be seen again. Okay. You're the best. अरे बराबर ना कुवाजन मैं चोरी नहीं करवानी हूँ अने पहले सॉस्टी माटली पर मोकलवानी से तारे. Cyrus. Cyrus. Can you tell me how many people died in Mohammadi Mansion? I'd rather not talk about those things. I don't want any kind of retaliation. I just want to find my son. Let me see what we can do. Zan? They found him. He's at the station right now. Okay, okay. Big shot. No, 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 go. Go, okay? I'll take care of her. Your son. Jab it. This is not my son. Where is my son? लेकिन इसका नाम तो प्रधान है. This is not my boy. Where is my son? You said you had my son. You can't find one child. It's because you don't care. Nobody cares, Saras. No, Shanaz. But what are you doing? Shanaz. No, I'm not leaving this place without my son. Shanaz, come on. No, you bring me my son. 
I want my person back. She knows. You bring me person. <laughs> Mami Mama Mami Please more ago I'm just coming to shot You have searched on land Now search with the spirit Ask Gaura Mastha for his guidance and he will guide you I think you must go for complete purification That brings Mastha closer to you. There are three steps on this purification. Wearing your sudra and kusti. Secondly, you must have sacred bath, cleansing yourself of tushmata, tujukta, tujwasta, bad thoughts, words and deeds. And thirdly, you should go for complete seclusion for nine days and nine nights. At the end of all this, you ask Mastha. and you will get all your answers okay godam mein kala kapda aur rassi dekho kitna hai ha ve rahe ha ji asla kitna hai apne paas 3 dozen theek hai zara dhyan se rakho kerosene chhidkna nahi chahiye ha ji usman ye salwar kitni hai 150 ji bahut acche ha zara khan ki madad karo wahan ja ke ha aur iski zara dhaat tez karwa iski apne ko bahut zarurat padne wali hai ye The question which both opposition parties and the public are asking is why the army was called 72 hours after the riot broke out and not earlier. The National Human Rights Commission has also stepped in and is investigating the issue. They are to submit a report to the state government about their findings. It is believed that 100,000 Muslims have been homeless since February 28 riots all over Gujarat. Reports of an evening meeting called by the chief minister on the day of the Godra carnage in which he instructed senior police officials to allow people to vent their frustration over the torching of the two coaches of the train surface today. He allegedly ordered the police to not come in the way of any Hindu backlash. This was no backlash. The people are starting to figure it out. They act as if this was just a natural reaction to Godra, but you tell me how you could mobilize a hundred thousand citizens with swords and trishuls and pipe bombs within 24 hours? How did the men have all the voters lists so they knew exactly where all the Muslims lived? Why were the names of every Muslim business in the area run in the newspaper with their addresses not long before? Why were flags distributed systematically to all of the Hindu-owned businesses before Godra had even occurred? I'll tell you why. This riot wasn't a riot. It was a planned act of genocide. It is our resolve to punish the culprits. No one will be spared. Fuck this. We're going to fight these motherfuckers. It's going to be all right. Everyone's here to testify. Okay? We're not alone. What happened? Hmm? What happened, Daddy? It's about Kitty. do this Hello listen you fuckers we know where you stay you so much as return to the phone call from the NHRC or speak to another soul about anything we will cut you into bits and fucking pieces you Just get the, the fuck number. away from that fucking hearing you understand It's wrong number I'm going to go away by myself for 9 days I will fast also so that I I can become as pure as I can for God. Hmm? At 
the end of those nine days, we will get our answer. Sent a pill to tunnel by, save my person from the evil light. Parzan Cyrus Pitawala, captain of the Indian cricket team. Oh. Must you renew our wedding vows every single day, sir? Every single day.
Alushina, me. Saris, where are you? Saris, I know this is important for you, but Dilshad really needs you. So come back home, please. Darling, I, I come home two days time. Pray for you to give me strength to see what I need to see, to do whatever it is you need me to do. Give me strength, O oh Lord. We are going to Narola from Narola to Shahpur. It's a long road. And keep this asli on top of it. Keep it on top of it, brother. सुनिए आप लोग जरा जाके पांच मिनट चाय पीके आइए ध्यान से। You know this isn't right. Why? What they did was right. Why are you defending the Hindus? It was a Hindu man who saved my life, Asif. And it was Hindus who killed my father. They butchered him, Nikhil. They butchered. They tore him up. Why? For no reason. He was 75 years old. What harm could he have possibly done? Nika, they took him from me for no fucking reason. I think they deserve this. And you don't tell me that they don't deserve it. How can you pretend that the Hindus you're going to kill are the same ones that killed him? I don't care. You don't care? Okay. What if you do it? You do it. What happens after that? Tell me, have you thought about that? Nothing will have changed, Asif. Nothing. If you want to hurt them, fine. Go after the ones who did it. Not with a sword. Not with a sword, Asif. We are gathered here today to hear the testimonials of both the victims and law enforcement officials regarding the events that took place on 28th February 2002. It should be noted that this is not a criminal proceeding. However, the findings of this board will be presented to the government and recommendations on how to proceed with criminal prosecution will be made. Could you please describe for us the events you saw on February the 28th? Yes. There was a small group of people fighting outside our home. A small group? Yes. Uh, Muslims and Hindus were fighting each other. Were the police present? Not at first. Uh, no. And when did they arrive? Uh, not long after it started. They broke it up. Thank you. You may take a seat. Officer Shastri, when you heard the violence erupting, what orders were you given? We were ordered to fire at anyone who did not cooperate. And uh, what did you personally do? I followed the orders and broke up the violence. What do you want me to do? When you asked police for help, what did they do? The, the police saved our lives along with Parishad workers. Uh, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. I swear, sir. I swear. I witnessed the police firing in, into the crowd of attackers to stop the violence. I was there in the cabinet the prior evening when our party workers and the Parishad workers tried to make special provisions for protection of Muslims. But unfortunately, not everyone can be controlled. Godra was a special act of terror. And the communities were bound to react. 
but the parishad worked and helped very much police not only took us to the relief camp but commissioner pandey himself addressed the angry crowds no there were no charges of rape filed within my district sit here watching the strongest woman I have ever known understanding that the lord only gives a person a burden that they are strong enough to handle mommy that the burdens must fall somewhere in this world and when they fall on you it is not just a test but a symbol that life knows you have the strength to endure them never in my life would I have guessed that religion could be both the cause of the problem and the solution
Again, could you describe to us the events that you witnessed on 28th February? Groups of Hindus were moving in various parts of our neighborhoods, and they were carrying a lot of weapons, like swords, fire bottles, and trishuls. Uh, were there any police officers present? Yes. And what did they do in response to the violence? They said that we have no orders to help you. Excuse me? To the Muslims, not myself. And what did you do? What could I do? It was a huge mob and they were threatening to kill me. So I told them that I'm a Hindu and showed them the places where the Muslim lived and they went and killed. I did this to save my own life. Did you attack anyone? No. But it's the same thing. I told them where the Muslims were. I might as well have butchered them all by myself. Uh, did you try to stop them? How could I? There was no way. If you interfered, the police would fire at you. And the mob would threaten to kill you. So I just stood there and watched the Muslim being raped. But in front of my own eyes. Just like the police did. I don't deserve to be here. I don't deserve to be alive. Any more than this fucking mess. Shashi, you were there during the events that Chagan has spoken of. Would you be able to confirm what he said as being true? Absolutely. Every word of it. When you asked the police for help, what did they say to you? We have no orders to help you. 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 We pleaded with the police officer for help. He showed us the newspaper with Godra on it and said, that's why, if your people hadn't done this, you would not face this. We were called and told us, if you testify... They would kill our families. I said you already have. The mosque was burning. And when I begged the police to call for help... They laughed and pushed me into the mob. We were told help would come. They sent no help sent a mob and stood there and laughed as we watched our loved ones getting butchered. I had 10 ambulances ready to go to the mansion because I personally received a call. The police blocked the ambulances and wouldn't allow us to help. One of the officers asked me, aren't you a Hindu? And what did you say? I said, yes, I'm a Hindu, but today I'm ashamed to call myself one. I loved watching my daughter laugh. And then before my own eyes, they, they did these horrible things to her. They, they put knives into her private parts and they, they laughed. 
They laughed. And you all laughed. The Parishad showed up the day before to a house and says, we have to dig four graves in our yard. The next day, they showed up with four truckloads of dead bodies. Right to my house. Four truckloads. They pushed hundreds of people in the well, filled it with kerosene, and then set them on fire. And what happened during the criminal pre-trial? All seven men were acquitted. And how did the acquittals come about? The prosecutor was a member of the ruling party and also had been charged with eight accounts of murder himself. As a resident of this area, I can honestly say that the policeman did a fine job working absolutely around the clock to provide security to the people. And who asked you to come here and testify today? The policeman from my area. <laughs> Your name, please? Shainaz. Shainaz Saris Pithawala. Can you please describe for us the events that occurred on the day of 28th of February? The police announced on the loudspeaker that we were safe and everything was under control. And? As soon as the police left, a huge mob broke into our society. How many? 5,000 to 10,000 people. What? Did she actually sit and count the people? <laughs> <laughs> they were coming from all directions and it was impossible to go anywhere. We could not defend ourselves. We had no weapons. We were middle class families depending on the police to protect us. And they did not do that. So now the police is involved? Yes. Sitting right here is Shankar, a police officer and my husband's friend. He himself attacked us and tried to kill us just because we were not Hindus. There was madness everywhere. Doors that my children could walk through without knocking were shut on us. I begged and I screamed. I requested them to take my children in, to protect them. But the doors remained closed. Then what happened? I lost my son. And how did you escape? We ran from there, but no place was safe. And this was occurring outside your society? It was all over the place, the whole city. Even the fields we went to hide in were not safe. They were pulling out people and killing them. They stripped the men naked and cut them to pieces. Women were being raped of, of all ages. Old, young, even the little ones. They, they were cutting their breast, throwing it around. They didn't spare the unborn children. How was I to leave their shad alone in all this? And go and look for Barzan. I lost my boy. Your son is your responsibility. Don't talk to me about my responsibility. It was the government's responsibility to see to it that our families were safe and secure. But they did not do that. They failed to do that. Their family has been compensated. Ab kya chahiye? What compensation are you talking about? Can money bring back those who we have lost? We are not talking table, chair and furniture. We are talking people. We are talking our lives, our loved ones. And money cannot buy that. No matter how hard we try, it will never be the same again. My family is strangled to a point where we have lost the ability to communicate with each other. My husband runs like a madman searching from street to street. Every time he's called to identify a body, he hopes it's not our son. Yet he wants to find him in some form. Every day Dilshad is waiting for her brother to come back. She smiles because she knows I want her to be happy. Not because she is happy. She's never going to forget what she has seen all her life. The screaming, she has to live with that. For the rest of her life she will be fighting the demons of what she has witnessed. 
all I wanted was to was to love and protect my children and be with them for the rest of my life. And now what? Them is gone. I don't even know where he is. He's only ten years old. <laughs> He's fading away from our lives, and I don't want to live with his memories and pictures. I want him. I want to hold my person. I want to feed him. I want to scold him when he does mistakes. It's good. <laughs> I want to hold him so tight that he's never lost again. <laughs> Our son has to come back wherever he is, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait. Wait. Just over two years after the Human Rights Commission's first hearings, the ruling central government of India was voted out of power. Cyrus is still searching for Parzan, and surely will never stop. As for me, I plan to turn my thesis into a book about a world where the buildings are made of chocolates the mountains made of ice cream, and no one's killing each other over religion. I'll call this book Parzani. Kemkariye, 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 